Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Monday, October 28th. Uh, I got back yesterday from the um, Acme show. Showed you that uh, slideshow of photographs I took. So today I'm gonna show you the few items I brought home as stash ads. I don't have a large stash of models and I really don't want to get a large stash. I try to stay um, pretty much in control of that. You know, because, I, I mean, no offense to any of the guys that have walls covered with kits. You know, more power to you. I just know that I won't ever build that many models. And the money spent on kits I won't build is money that could be going towards kits that I will build. You know, towards aftermarket accessories or paints or tools or you know, whatever else you might spend that money on, uh, even stuff that's not hobby related. So I don't have a huge stash. I've got about 50, 50 now with airplanes and automobiles, uh, in total, I think with the ones I brought home this weekend, I think I've got about 29 models kits. Um, that's also counting the started and stalled, Pontiac GTO. We'll get back to that one someday. Not anytime soon, I'm afraid, though. Anyhow, let me show you what I brought home. So this first one, a uh, high school, well, a grade school, high school classmate of mine was always into racing. And in fact, my mom's cousin was into racing and he owned a you know, I don't even know what class it was, uh, but they raced at the local track back home in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, but I saw this and it, it reminded me of my friend from school. So I saw a few of these on the tables yesterday that were completed that looked really nice. And I thought, yeah, man, I, I kind of want one of those. So we got that 37 Chevy early modified. Yeah, I, that one's going to look good on the shelf, I think. Hopefully I can do it justice. So there was that one. And then the next one I brought home, my dad had one of these. My dad worked for International Harvester in the early 70s. Well, through most of the 70s, really. Uh, and then he was laid off 79, 80-ish when they decided to close the plant in Fort Wayne. But dad had a 1976 Scout II and his, his actually had the convertible top, so it has the roll bars and then the, the soft canvas top. I'll have to look at this. I have not opened it, so I'll need to look at it and see if maybe I can modify that and create the soft top for it, or maybe just cut the hard top off completely and, uh, you know, maybe roll up what would look like a canvas top and have it stowed away. So we'll, we'll take a look at that at some point. But I think, well, I know, I'm going to paint it like Dad's. He had, it was the white body with the, a blue and red trim stripe and a dark blue canvas convertible top. 1976, you know, patriotic look to it. So pick that one up. And then I was on a mission to find the first model kit I ever built. <clears throat> excuse me, um, I think I was about seven years old. It would have been 1978. We just moved into our new home. Mom and Dad had a new ranch house built that year. Um, and my, I know my sister wasn't born yet because when we moved into that house, I had my own bedroom. I'm the, I'm the oldest of three boys, and then my sister's the baby. So I had my own bedroom. But when my sister came along... Once she was old enough, which, you know, under a year, I bet, she was in that room and I moved into the other bedroom with my two brothers. So I know it had to have been 78 because I was in that room, I built it in that room, and it, it went on the shelves that I had in that room. But over the years, it got destroyed, lost, whatever. And I, I really had kind of a vague memory of what it even was. I knew it was an automobile. 
and I thought it was a van, but maybe it wasn't a van. You know, maybe, maybe it was a car and I wasn't real sure. And I've, I've seen on YouTube some other videos from other shows that guys have gone to and they've walked through the vendors areas. And every now and then I see something that I'm like, Oh, Oh, I think that's it. And you've all probably seen these before. And I found it, but the one I found is actually a repop version. Um, I'll show you here the original one that I had. And then this is the one I was able to find. But the nice thing about this repop kit is that it still has the camper shell portion of it. So I remember when I built mine, I was using the testers tube glue, the red bottle tube glue, and the little testers, you know, what, quarter ounce paint jars, enamel, and brush painting. And I think I probably used two or three bottles of copper. There was something about that copper color that just, just attracted me to it and drew me to it. And I, I do remember distinctly that the majority of this thing was copper. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it'll be copper this time, but who knows? Maybe, maybe that color will show up on there somewhere. But uh, yeah, I finally found the first kit I ever built, the the Diora. But the one that I had, like I showed in that picture, it was a. It was the same kit, they just gave it a different name called the Vantasy. But it's it's the Diora with the camper shell. That's all it is. And then lastly, so I have two grandsons who live in Alaska. I live in Alabama on the coast. Um, my ex-wife and I have been apart for 26, going on 27 years. My kids were very little when that all took place, and I have not physically seen them since then. So we stay in touch, you know, Facebook, but it just, it is what it is. But my oldest grandson, who I have not met, neither, neither one of those boys have I met, my oldest one will turn eight in February. And I was thinking, you know, I was about that age, you know, seven years old, I think, when I built my first plastic model kit. And I thought, man, you know, I need to find something that that he can build, that we both can build together, but we won't be together. What I'm gonna do is, his birthday's in February, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna gather the kit and basic building supplies, and then I'm gonna create a video series of me building essentially the same kit. And I'll walk him through that, and then he can watch it, you know, through steps. And hopefully that'll kind of work out. So you'll see those videos come out in February. But the kit that I ended up with, and I want to thank uh, BG, Brian Gugamos, for his opinion on this. You know, because I wanted something that wasn't going to be too difficult, but not too boring for him either. You know, he's he's eight, and I think that's old enough, mature enough to do it. So where we happen to be standing in the vendor aisles, uh, BG saw these and said, you know, these would really be good. And I just, I just opened up one of them and looked at the instructions and they do seem a little intense. Uh, and the detail seems really good. So maybe we'll back off a little bit on the detail painting and we'll make it a bit more basic. Or maybe I'll go a little further with mine, but direct him for a basic build with his. Anyway, let me show you what we got. So I picked up two of these. This is actually going to be the one that I build, and I'll show you the other one. The other one is actually still in its original cellophane wrap, which is great. So he'll get this one. The other thing is that my daughter, his mother, has one of these, the real thing. Um... And she said hers looks a little more like this one than the other one, but that's the one that he'll get for his birthday. So, yeah, I think uh, 
I'm hoping this is going to work out. My daughter seems kind of excited about it, and that was good. I was a little bit worried that she wouldn't think it was a good idea, but she she genuinely seemed like this might be a good idea and that it would be something that he would like. So look forward to that. And I did already, today I went out and bought some basic modeling supplies at Hobby Lobby. So that'll all get shipped to him. Uh, like I said, in February, his birthday's on the 13th of February. So I'll make sure it gets there uh, before that time. And then, of course, I will start building mine and doing the videos prior to that as well. I probably won't finish it before that time. I'll get started so that he's got a, a few videos to watch and progress with. And then, uh, you know, I'll I'll complete it and, and do those videos for him. But, um, yeah, it, it, should be, it should be a good build. Like I said, I opened up the other one and, and looked inside, and um, it's... It's a little bit in depth, you know, it's probably a little bit higher skill level than maybe I should have gone with, but I think he'll be fine. But anyway, that's, that's what I picked up. And then I wanted to note also probably the next contest show that I'm going to try to go to. Of course, I got to get vacation time for this because at the moment I'm still working on Saturdays. Uh, I was supposed to have gone to a Monday through Friday schedule by now, but we just were still shorthanded on Saturdays specifically. So I now have Sunday and Monday off. But in January, January 18th, uh, the South Carolina Modelers Association, and this one, uh, this is the Hope It Don't Snow show. I've heard of it before. I have not ever been there. Uh, in Spartanburg, South Carolina. And according to this, they have a, uh, a new venue this year. So I'm going to try to make it to that show. I'm kind of looking forward to getting to a few more shows in 25 than I was able to do this year. Um, so, yeah, put that one on your calendars, and maybe I'll see you there. Anyway, we'll get back to building some airplanes uh, this week while I'm working uh, and I'll have something to show you next weekend as far as progress on those. But y'all take care and have a good week at work if you're working. And uh, if you're lucky enough to be retired, don't tell me about it. Peace and love, y'all.